life guys if i'm back again with another video and the topic for today's video is how to add fractions okay this is grade 3 math now let's first look at what a fraction is now when you have when you take an object and you divide that object into a number of equal parts then each part of that object is called a fraction okay so for example 2 by 5 so you take an object divide it into five equal parts and you, of those five equal parts you take two so in this case 2 by 5 is the fraction now let's look a little closer at a fraction uh, we're going to use the same example uh, 2 by 5 the the number at the top is called the numerator and that tells you how many parts you're taking out of the whole of the, of the object that you took, that you divided into, into pieces. How many of those pieces did you take? And the, and the bottom number is the denominator, and that tells you how many pieces you made. So in this example, you took an, took an object, you divided it into five equal parts, and of those five equal parts, you took two. Okay? Now always remember, the denominator can never be zero because you cannot divide by zero. All right, that that's all. Keep, always keep that in mind. Now, let's do a, a fraction uh, example. We'll uh, take a chocolate bar and we'll divide that into five equal parts. Okay, so we've cut a, a chocolate bar here, and <coughs> excuse me, and we have divided that into five equal parts. Okay, now each part is one fifth. Of the whole bar okay because we took the whole we took the whole bar and we divided it into five equal parts so each part is one fifth of the whole bar okay now we read one by five as one fifth the whole bar has five one fifth parts okay so five one fifth parts is basically one full uh, one foot uh, chocolate bar and uh, if we we can also write uh, one as five by five, okay. And it, now, what we uh, I'll just uh, quickly show you uh, some more examples here. Fully shaded circle, that's a one. Half shaded is ha one by two. Uh, one uh, quadrant is shaded in, that's a one by four or a quarter. And three quarters that are shaded in, that's three fourth or three uh, three quarters. Okay. Now let's see how you we would add fractions with like denominators. Now, if you remember, denominator is the number at the bottom. Now, if you have two fractions and you're adding them, and the number at the bottom is the same, that's what we're trying to see in this example. So, uh, we've got two numbers, two fractions here, two by seven. And four by seven. Now, if you notice, the denominator is the same. Both has uh, both these uh, fractions have seven as their denominator. Okay, so the way you would add uh, fractions which had the same denominator is basically what you do is you look at the numerator and you just go ahead and add the numerators straight away and just carry the denominator as it is. So it's going to be two plus four over seven so that's six by seven that's how you would add uh, fractions which have the same denominator okay now you could also have fractions which have different denominators and you would want to add them up so how would you go about doing that say for example you've got three fifth and four seven now if you notice in in the first fraction you got five as a denominator in the second fraction, you have 7 as, as a denominator. Now, 5 and 7 are different. So you cannot do what you did in the previous example because that had the denominator as, as being the same number. Here, you've got two different numbers. Okay, you've got a 5 and you've got a 7. So you got to, you know, there's an extra step that you have to go through before you can add them up. Okay, now what you would do is you take the denominator of the second fraction and you multiply by that by the numerator of the first fraction and you put it in the numerator. Okay? And then you take the denominator of the first fraction, 
you multiply that by the numerator of the second fraction put in the numerator and for the both of them what you do is the denominator is the the the, the, the product the, the multiplication of the two denominators so in this case we've got 3 by 5 plus 4 by 7 so what we do is we take the first fraction 3 by 5 the numerator is 3 and like I said, we multiply the numerator by the denominator of the second uh, fraction. So that was 7. So it's 3 multiplied by 7. And in the denominator also you multiply because, see, uh, always remember, for a fraction to not change its value, whatever number you multiply the numerator by, you also have to multiply the denominator by the same number. Okay? If you do that, the value does not change. The, the, the fraction remains the same. Okay, So since we multiplied the numerator 3 by 7, we'll also multiply the denominator 5 by 7. Now that was the first fraction. Now coming to the second fraction. In the second fraction, what we, got, what we decided was we're going to multiply the numerator of the second fraction by the denominator of the first, exactly opposite of what we did for the first fraction. So the, the numerator of the second fraction is a 4. Multiply that by the denominator of the first uh, fraction, that is 5. So 4 into 5. Now the denominator is a 7. So we'll, like I said, we'll keep the, the you know, we to, in order to make sure that the fraction remains the same, the value remains the same, whatever we did to the, to the numerator, we have to do to the denominator. So we multiply the numerator by 5. Uh, we'll multiply the denominator by 5. Okay? So, uh, We've got 4 into 5 divided by 5 into 7. Now, if you look at uh, these two uh, fractions now, the, the, the denominator 5 into 7, 35. Now, both the denominators have the same value. Okay. So now we can, what we can do is we can go ahead and add these up like we did in the previous example when we have alike, when we have similar denominators. Okay. So 7 times 3 is 21. 4 times 5 is 20. So 21 plus 20 is 41 divided by 35. So that's how you would uh, add fractions with denominators which are different. Okay. Now we're going to do a slightly different ex uh, variation of the same. Supposing the second is not a fraction. You have a fraction and you're trying to add a whole number to it. How would you go about doing that? Uh, say, for example, you have 3 fifths plus a 4, okay? Now, this is just a whole number 4. This. It's not a fraction. It's a whole number. Now, you cannot just add 3 plus 4 is 7 divided by 5. No, that's not a, it's not going to work like that. So, there's a small step that we have to go through to make sure that, you know, to, in order to make it, you know, so we can add these two numbers, the fraction and the whole number together. So what we do is we first take the first fraction, 3 by 5, the way it is. And if you look at 4, basically a 4 is a 4 divided by a 1, 4 by, by 1. Okay? So whenever you divide anything by a 1, the value does not change. Now it's, if you notice, the 5, you, for the first fraction, you got a 5 as a denominator. And for the second fraction, you got a 1 as a denominator. Now... Now it's starting to look similar to the, the problem that we just did earlier. Two un fractions with different denominators. Okay, So 5 and 1, two different denominators. Now how do we do that? We take the first fraction, multiply that by the denominator of the second fraction. We take the second fraction, multiply that by the denominator of the first fraction. Okay, So 3 into 1 is 3 and Five, we leave 5 the way it is because 5 into 1 is still 5. Now for the second fraction, it's going to be 4 into 5 divided by 1 into 5. Okay? So if you've got uh, 3, now, and now you see uh, the, the two fractions, you've got 3 by 5 and you've got 20 by 5. Now both denominators are the same. Now what you can do is you can go ahead and add them like you did in the first example, when you had like uh, denominators, okay? So 4 into 5 is 20, plus 3, 23, divided by 5. So that's how you would add fractions 
with a whole number. I hope you found this uh, interesting. If you did, please kindly give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please kindly subscribe. Thank you.